back to the show. It's been a while. But I'm back again, and uh, in this show here today, I'm gonna make a little bit of a review for you guys. Now, if you've seen my earlier episode in my uh, Learn to Sail series solo, you probably saw that uh, at some point I removed all my electronics, all my system uh, from my sailboat, the Spirit of Amsterdam, in order to uh, kind of create my own custom new install uh, system. And so uh, I installed the, uh, the Raymarine AV200 autopilot a while back. I uh, made a review also about that kind of an in-depth talk about why I chose that system over you know, various other systems. And uh, people responded really well to that video. And so uh, I was looking for a uh, kind of a plotter system, you know, a full on boat control system to go uh, with that autopilot. Not necessarily by Ray Marine, I kind of looked at the market broadly and uh, I discovered this system called the Orca plotter or the Orca pilot. And uh, this is a Norwegian slash Spanish company and uh, they have kind of a different philosophy when it comes to designing a plotter because instead of thinking you know how can we put as much processor separate you know items on the boat their philosophy is kind of what data do we have you know through the internet through various sources and how can we just put it all together into one device and run that uh, preferably either on an ipad or maybe a special uh, pad or on a, on a phone etc so on your on your standard processor that you kind of always have uh, with you and this really attracted uh, me to it also because i really like to navigate on various tablets i have an ipad i have two uh, more like google uh, running uh, tablets here on board which i'm always using so i kind of have three uh, redundancies and i would like to have something that works with all of them and this system actually turns all of those screens into one plotter together with this just tiny, tiny, very, very simple install which works together with all of the other technology that I have already on board and actually even turns your phone into a remote control for your autopilot. Now, why have I personally really been waiting, you know, praying for a product just like this? Because I think in this age, it just makes sense not to put all kinds of current day processors into your boat, which you just know are going to be completely outdated next year with all of the technology moving forward so fast, you want to have a flexible system. And what's more flexible than, uh, you know, using the screen too, but also, for example, your iPad or your Google Pad, and the really cool thing about it is that all my screens now are stuck with simple Velcro so I can switch them out really, really easy in the future. If I buy a new iPad or a new Google Pad or whatever, it's just a one minute switch instead of having to drill new holes in my boat, etc. So I absolutely love that philosophy and uh, over the last three months or so i've been working really close with the developers of this actually i'm not uh, you know participating in it financially or anything but just been working with the guys and uh, we've been talking really in depth about kind of how to really also optimize it for sailing and so uh, we have weather routing now that includes actually uh, you know weather routing especially for sailing so it will do something that is kind of similar to what a predict wind does but completely a separate standalone system inside of the orca pilot uh, and also they're working on some really cool navigationally helpful tools uh, that will kind of help you understand like where you are what you're doing and kind of what your options are if you're sailing navigation wise which would be really nice for racing lovely weather doing a nice round six knots in about 18 20 knots of wind and you can see even from here in the bright sunshine how nicely bright the screen too from Orca is. Like I can even from here, like five meters or something away, see it perfectly well. It's just amazing. Boom, it makes a course based on the wind. Super nice. Now I actually want to go here. And this shows just how easy it is to uh, have Orca plot a course based on the current wind prediction and then change your autopilot setting from the compass mode to navigation mode where it will follow the plotted track. And 
and here we go. Now we're running on a nice track. Autopilot's taking care of everything. So uh, yeah, super nice. And the cool thing is that I have all the same features, everything that you have on this, I have it on my phone in a small version. So you can like literally go on the front of the boat, steer, navigate, set a new course from wherever you are on board, even if I'm like in my cabin. It's just a very, very nice system. And the installation is really, really uh, straightforward and simple. It took me 10 minutes to install this whole thing. So, uh, you know, I don't think there's any other system that can, uh, that can you know, give you such a, like an installation uh, time. So I'm sitting here nicely enjoying the sun, kind of midway on my ship. And if I want to adjust my course a little bit, all I need to do here is just give it a few degrees. And there we go. So I see a boat there in front of me in the distance. And so even though I don't have an AIS transponder on board right here right now, I do actually see it, Salina doing six knots. So I actually have all the information. Now, as I said, you can run this app from any device, phone, iPad, Google Pad, doesn't matter. But uh, what I'm using here is the Display 2. And so that's a special product also designed by Orca. Uh, it's waterproof to a very high standard. It has a very, uh, actually the brightest screen on the market right now. Uh, and it's also uh, has a more larger battery capacity, which kind of allows you to, you know, take the screen kind of off the charger and, you know, have it kind of, uh, use it kind of on a mobile way on your boat for longer than you would be able to do with a, with a normal iPad or a normal Google Pad. So that's a really nice uh, optional addition also. And there's also different uh, mounting options available uh, for that if you want to mount it on your mast, for example. So uh, not necessary, but a very cool addition that works with the product really well. This um, is it. And so uh, if you're looking for a plotter with a very easy install, uh, it really doesn't get... I think any more uh, better than this because literally I kind of put the wire, uh, you know, set, set the wire in. So this is a little piece of uh, my uh, uh, talk my Raymarine Seatalk uh, backbone. This, this is a long uh, uh, wire that actually came with the system. I, I replaced this actually by buying a separate, much shorter wire, but I still had this one, which now comes in handy because I have to put this some way away from my GPS and from my uh, compass because it has a built-in GPS compass uh, inside there. And so, uh, basically, the entire installation means putting this into my already existing Raymarine uh, Seatalk backbone. So, just for simplicity's sake, so that's how it plugs in. Of course, then uh, make sure to put the blue end plug on the kind of extension. And then I got this one uh, transition uh, wire that, which fits into my uh, Seatalk backbone. And then it's basically an NMEA 2000 uh, switch, so we have the the NMA 2000 switch here, I can just plug that in. And that's basically the entire installation. So, And then, uh, you know, we have the uh, the conversion from Raymarine Seatalk to NMA 2000. And so we have the unit here and I just take this one, connect it there, and then place the unit and then uh, it should work. Then I just turn on my system, power it on, it'll come on, and then it's a matter of logging in with your phone uh, through the app, through the uh, through your through your iPad or through your phone, uh, and then you can just log in and use the system, and, and it will you know recognize uh, the various uh, devices that you have on board. You can integrate. I absolutely love the simplicity uh, of this. Right, you just get this tiny unit. Uh, you can either uh, put it. It has a like a mount, so you can actually drill a hole, stick it in, secure it so it's secure, or they actually provide a bonding, uh, industrial bonding uh, agent. And then you can just put it upside down on any uh, surface and, uh, and it'll work. So this gotta be the, you know, the easiest plotter install uh, ever. So I'm really looking forward to uh, going around the boat and finding a place for this now. And uh, we're going to install this puppy and see um, how she does over the upcoming weekend uh, with some actual uh, sailing and plotting tests. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> 
How cool is that, huh? My measurements here. You can also set it, I have a Polar inside of here, it doesn't work yet, but uh, you can input your Polar. Now, at the time of shooting this review, I'd been using the Orca Pilot for about a month now, in a wide range of conditions, and even though I expected a lot from it, I have to say that it has absolutely exceeded my expectations. I use my boat a lot, sailing both solo and with charter groups multiple days every week. And having all the navigation options available to me live on my phone at all times has made a huge difference for me. Not only is it giving me a tremendous level of control from any location on board while I'm sailing solo, it has also had a big impact on my interactions with my guests on board while I'm chartering. Because I sail in very shallow and busy areas, so I very often had to interrupt my conversations with guests, for example, or uh, other things that I'm doing on board in order to get to my control screen to get more info on an approaching boat, for example, or to adjust our course a little bit. Now, I can do all those things right from my phone. And because it's essentially an app running on an Apple or a Google device, you can also browse the internet, watch YouTube, etc., on your plotter. So while cruising, I can literally switch between watching a movie on YouTube and my plotter screen, for example. How many other plotters are there that can do that? Zero. Now, I'm sure that some of you are also wondering about this. Uh, yes, the Orca Pilot can integrate any Enemy A2000 hardware that is linked into your system. So AIS transponder, radars, winds, depth, uh, all, all, all the kind of the standard uh, sensors, it can use all of that information. But the Orca system also adds a whole layer of extra functions on top of that that are just not there out of the box. My Raymarine EV200 Autopilot, for example, is a great uh, pilot, but the Orca system gives it a number of abilities that it just doesn't have normally. We can go a bit more downwind. So, let's see how it goes. But uh, far, so fast. Now, in conclusion, I can only say that uh, this system really exceeded my expectations and that the whole experience, so the installation and the use of the system has been really great. I didn't have to drill any holes in my boat. It's a very, very simple installation. I mean, in the end, a plotter system is there to support our enjoyment of sailing, right? It's the, it's the grand views, it's the adventure, it's a time with friends or with guests, or you know the time spent alone contemplating kind of like the beauty around. That's what it's all about. And I think um, you know, a plotter should also really support that. You know, it's, it's there to make things easier, and this really uh, does that and much more. So um, yeah, that's my, my kind of my verdict on it. And here a great example of the uh, AIS functionality. So no transponder on board at this time. And uh, you know, just look at the incredibly busy uh, inner uh, kind of waters of Amsterdam as I'm navigating back to my uh, home uh, slip in the marina. And uh, well, just very, very helpful function. So I'm back in the marina again. That was a great day uh, out sailing. And uh, well, I think you can tell I'm really super enthusiastic about this system. I think it's groundbreaking and it's really giving you and, and me a lot of extra options that I just didn't have before and never thought I would really have in that way, especially for that price. Because at 450 euros for the base core system, which gives you all of the functionality, uh, I think this is something that every serious active sailor, whether you're like a racer or just somebody who's cruising around, uh, should consider putting on your boat the the added control from anywhere on board of your autopilot alone and uh, you know especially if you're a charter captain like me this is just going to make your life so much easier so uh, i think it's a very cool uh, thing and if you're uh, if you're also interested in that if you want to know more uh, please check out their website you can use the link below the video or use the button on uh, the home screen of the seawolves tv website to let them know that uh, you're seawolf and of course they'll take extra good care of you and uh, another thing that i'm going to be talking about in a next video is that there's something else inside this 
system for the for the keen observer you've seen for example that I have a polar performance number on here which is not something that we find on most uh, you know standard kind of cruising plotters and uh, that's because there's actually lots of performance stats in here that you normally would only find on you know in a mock hour Volvo 60 or on a professional kind of racing uh, boat and uh, that's because there's something on board the Orca pilot they call it uh, the Orca sailing processor and this is a very real attempt to kind of uh, put the the type of instrumentarium the type of performer tools that you normally would only find on a professional racing boat uh, and make them kind of available for uh, you know, for, for the mere mortals uh, such as us. And uh, there are already several uh, racing teams in Norway, for example, that have started to use the Orca Pilot uh, in their uh, racing with some very, very interesting results. And there's actually a lot that goes into this. This, uh, this Autopilot, I mean, I've talked about Autopilots before, of course, during the Van de Globe, uh, while I was doing the, uh, the Volvo Ocean, uh, because this is a very interesting topic. It's highly technical. There's lots of interesting aspects to it. And so in the next episode, I'm going to be talking about all of the kind of uh, technique and ideas that kind of went into uh, developing this uh, you know plotter intelligence uh, device uh, let's say which is kind of providing us uh, these tools and I'm also going to be under sale again just like in this video and I'm going to you know show you in real time kind of um, you know how I use this system to really push my boat to uh, you know get that kind of 100% polar uh, performance which is just a lot of fun and I think will, will also be something that a lot of you uh, might enjoy so uh, look out for that video in the uh, imminent future uh, as well so uh, that's basically it for this first uh, episode i hope you enjoyed please uh, give the video a thumbs uh, up and make sure that you're subscribed for uh, the next videos to uh, come out with the bell button uh, etc and uh, well that's it for this video i hope you have a great weekend and see you soon ciao ciao